Now, with the character of Imam al-Baqir alayhi salam, like he really was a scholar and a scientist within his own right. And he, many people came to speak with him and yes. debate with him. But one of the problems that he often encountered, and all the Imams of the Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam, unfortunately they encountered this, is sometimes these individuals that would come and debate with him, sometimes they were incredibly rude and insulting. I mean, I, I remember a particular incident where a man went up to the Imam and called him Bakr instead of um, Bakr. Mm. How did Imam al-Bakr alayhi salam respond to mm. such comments? See, the Imams of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi and his uh, holy progeny, they, uh, um, they were there, they are here for a, for a purpose and for a mission. The mission is to provide guidance to mankind, all of mankind, regardless of where they come from, what religion they may have, and so on and so forth. Um, so if someone comes along and start insulting, whether it's the Prophet or Imam al-Baqir alayhi salam, or Imam al-Hasan, Amir al it doesn't matter. When someone comes along and starts insulting them, uh, they are not going to preoccupy themselves and waste the opportuni that opportunity by responding to them or trying to address that issue. So like lowering themselves in a way. Uh, lowering themselves, or even if not lowering, they don't want to waste that opportunity. <coughs> mm. What they want to do is to try, at least seize that opportunity and provide guidance to the individual. 